Okay, so let's call this regular meeting of Buck Portland School Board to order at 6.08. Um, it's Tuesday, January 3rd, first Tuesday of January. Um, so, first question is any changes or additions to the agenda? Nikki, I would like to add an executive session to, to discuss personnel. Awesome. Okay, thank you. You beat me to it. Okay. Um, anything else? Okay. Um, okay, so I'll take a motion to approve the minutes of uh, December 6th. Uh, I sorry. <laughs> sure, I saw you no. nod. <laughs> sorry, I'm a little. I'm a little. Jet For all lagged. days, I'm a little jet lag. Oh, you're jet lag. I got home from California yesterday. Oh, geez. Um, so I would make a motion that okay. we approve the minutes. I will second the motion. Okay, Sarah will make the motion, and Heather will second. Um, the minutes looked great. I had two comments, and I wish I had them in front of me right now, but I don't. Um, one comment is just to spell my name differently, oh. <laughs> and I see K I. Um, and then the other comment was: um, uh, Does anybody have them up? up? I have them up. Do you want to look? Yeah. yeah. Um, when we go out, when we adjourn the meeting, it says no vote needed, and I would just uh, change that to. Um, you know, small, you know, or small, small for small boards. Yeah, yeah, but it's just it's unique. We're allowed to use unanimous consent. So how do you use that? Like, you just meeting say, adjourned by unanimous yeah, consent? By unanimous yeah. consent. Okay, so let's change it to that. Okay. So she's on. Leanne is on. Oh, Leanne is on. Oh, hi, Leanne. <laughs> Leanna is her screen's off, but I'm sure she's okay. listening. Leanna, um, you did an awesome job. Those are two really minor things. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so that's it for that one. Um, the last one is just because it kind of raises a red flag if it says no vote needed. <laughs> just <laughs> we'll rephrase it differently. Um, okay. So should we move to voting? I had a lot of comments, but anybody else? Sure. Okay. Okay. So, all those in favor of approving the minutes of December sixth, please say. Oh, I guess I have to do a roll call. Colleen. Aye. Okay. Aye. 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 Okay. Nikki. Aye. Um, and we are missing Beth tonight, not because she doesn't want to be here, because she has family from out of the country visiting, and I told her that that was more important. Okay. Uh, so the minutes are approved uh, for tomorrow. Okay, public participation or announcements? We have none. Okay, um, <clears throat> moving on to the administrative report. All right, I will share my screen and we'll get started. Awesome. I should unmute myself too, that would be helpful. <laughs> All right, can you, are you able to see it? We can see it. All right, perfect. To start with, I wanted to highlight some of the, you know, it's. it seems like even though it's been a month that it's been a very quick since the last time we've met because we've got, we had break um, in there and but before we went on break, we had a couple really fantastic concerts. Really fantastic, the first two images are from the concerts that we had. This third image was from a kindergarten classroom, Emily Fugay's room. They were, it was like a day or two before that snow day where they were all really, really hoping for a snow day. So they were making a bunch of snowflakes <laughs> in the off chance that we had one. 
<laughs> and it was a good call, I might say. They, yeah, it, they, they, they it was your very first call. Good call. It was right. It was. It was. And Christine, it was a good call. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was necessary. Yeah. Yep. Solid snow day. Solid snow day. <laughs> The um, the first image on this one was um, I was in this is first grade and they were playing this awesome snowball game where you had to get the little balls over on the other side. Oh, it was great. It was great. Um, the one in the middle is a, a dear friend of mine who loves trains um, and loves puzzles. So we were playing some trains. And the third image, we had Woodstock High School. The, it's hard to see, but that's um, Cody Tancredi. And there was actually Oh, the name is escaping me. He was a former Heartland student who's currently a Woodstock. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, they came and spoke to the students. It was it was great. They had a really great time. And I wanted to, um, the in December, we asked for a compost update. So I reached out to the sixth grade team before break, getting their thoughts on an, a more formal update for this month. And they had actually had asked that I come to the board and just say that they're currently collecting data and that they wanted a little bit more time to come with a more formal presentation for February. So they'll be ready for that in February. But I did include some pictures of the work that they've been doing so far this year. That's awesome. Just yeah. Yeah, I know. And I like data. So. Yep. Exactly. I figured that would be a good one. Uh -huh. All right, and now we've got our student presentation. Once I get this going, I'll put it up. Are you able to see this one loading too, or no? Because I only shared a, t a tab. There's we cannot there. see it. Yeah. You cannot. Okay, let me fix it. That's the downside of sharing a tab. I think when it opens a new tab. Here we go. Stop. All right. Let's try again. There. All right. Are you good to go now? I can see it. You can. Christine, can you see it there? I don't know if they can hear me. Can you hear me there? Alina, can you hear me? Or Michael? I can hear you in the Shire. <laughs> I know that background's great. I was gonna say that but earlier. Nikki, can you hear me? I'm unsure if they can hear or not. Maybe they're, are they going? I don't I think they're taking selfies of each other. They might be. I don't know. Christine, can you hear us? <laughs> oh, you can? Oh, okay. We were not sure over here. <laughs> All right. So I'll put it back on the right screen. We can't hear you, though. I, I see the CATV icon muted on our end. You can mic it. Okay. Okay. So Nikki, what I'll do, and maybe just give me Christine, I can see your face pretty clearly. Give me a thumbs up. What I'll do is do is I'll go to that screen, even though we can't hear you, I'll just put the screen. The only trouble is I won't know when to change screens, like to change slides. They should be able to raise their hand still. Oh, hold on one second. Hi. Yes, I can hear it. We should be good to go. Yes. Weird. That's awesome. Okay. That was strange. Okay. 
All right, let's try again and we will get going. <laughs> Good job, girls. <laughs> Just gave you a little a few minutes to prepare some more. That's right. Or like your people take pictures of you. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> okay. Go for it. <laughs> You're up. Hi. Um, <laughs> I'm Mackenzie, I'm Cora, and we'd like to show you and get opinions on our idea for a mural we'd like to create for the front of our school. Cool. So we would like to, this is you, oh, um, <laughs> our idea, we would like to put a mural in front of the school. This mural will be on an 8x4 piece of plywood. It will be placed on the brick wall next to the entrance. It will depict a tree showing unity and diversity. We will use the handprints of all the students currently attending the school as leaves in whichever color they choose. This will show the indiv individuality and diversity of our school. So this is, um, so, so this is, like, one of the things, one of the things, oh, she's, she's got, oh, so, yeah, she's got, oh, 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 there, there it is. is. There you okay, go. Okay, so um, this is our sketch. So we have handprints. Um, clearly, most of the students will have fingers, unlike in this drawing. But <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna. You can see the words up going to the trunk and the white background. And so we'll stay in the trunk. So next slide. Um, so the plan, we will paint the 8x4 plywood in white for the background with the exception of the tree trunk which we will later paint over with stain. Um, the leaves of the tree will be made up by handprints of every student currently attending Heartland in any color of their choosing that isn't the color of the tree or the color of the background. Before we apply the stain to the tree trunk, we will etch in the words. The words will represent our school's values and show the illusion of tree bark. So, To get the words, we'll go around every class and ask each student or each class to be decided later um, for words they think will represent our school. We will put together all the words, deleting repeats, and those words will and values will make up with the bark of our tree. Well, we're still working on like um, the technicalities of how we're going to collect all the words, um, and then. We want to try to incorporate the staff into the mural, but we're not entirely sure how we were thinking of like roots as an idea with like a staff handprints, but we're not really sure how we want to incorporate them. Next slide. There's suggested footprints. So the process, we need to sketch our, put our sketch on the plywood um, we need to draw the trunk and the branches. And then we're going to survey students to get the words. Then we need to etch the words with a wood etcher on the trunk. And then we're going to stain the trunk and branches. We need to get handprints and we can have students like come into the STEM lab and have like each class do it at once. And then coat the top coat so it, does, so it like is protected from the weather when we put it outside. And then install it. Next. Awesome. Mm -hmm. and, um, so our materials need to be And so these are the materials needed in costs. So acrylic paint is steam lab supplied. We need an A5 piece of plywood, which we have, but it's Steam up supply for $25. And a wood etcher, which is a steam up tool, and it was $25. We need wood, set, wood stain, which is provided by Mosquito. And the wood protection is also provided by Mosquito. So. Christine, sorry, you're muted on your end again. Do you want me to move to the next slide? Okay. 
I'll stay unmuted, but I won't be able to see anyone. Good. You got the thumbs up, Lindsay. Perfect, thank you. I'll stop presenting. I think that was the end. <laughs> Nikki, Christine, do you want me to keep going? We can't hear you on our end. Do you want me to keep going with the administrative presentation? No, Christine, I don't know if you can hear us, but we cannot hear you. I think like Michael and I and Alina and Colleen can probably hear each other, but we, none of us can hear any of you there. Do you want me, Christine, to continue the administrative report or pause? I'm good either way. Yep. Can Christine unmute? Something looks different at least. The box on CATV was turning blue, like maybe that was working, but we still couldn't hear anything. Well, they were already oh. muted. Oh, right there, there you right are. there. Oh, now we can hear, oh, they yep. were muted. Okay. <laughs> <That's what they're laughs> <right. laughs> 
always a learning. We're all learning. learning. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Continue on. We will. Are you good, Nikki, for me to keep going? Yes, we are good. And Perfect. We learned that the students wanted to do a project that had art and um, created a positive impact. And so that was how they came up with this project. So it's very exciting. I love it. You guys, that was a great presentation. Thank you. Thank you both. You it was here. wonderful. Yeah. Well done. You're gonna go live. Perfect. Okay. And I'll I'll text I'll text Data and Jay to let them know that you're done. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. All right. We'll keep going. Christine, you good to see it on your end now? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I just wanted to uh, provide you all with a winter activities update. Some of the numbers shifted slightly, not too much. But this is what we've got, a good amount of skiing, which is great. We were especially excited with the, the skiing, swimming, and bowling numbers, especially the bowling from what Linda had described to me was that that was a really big increase from previous years, which is really, really exciting. And next, a couple of events, winter activities will begin next Wednesday, 1-11, and the 16th. We don't have any school, so not a ton in terms of after school -y type events currently, but we've got some good stuff coming up in the soon-ish future. And I wanted to provide you, these are updated, so they look similar to last month, but they are updated. Last month, I think there was about 15 responses. This time there's 30 responses, which is great. Wow. Yeah, yep. Um, so 56% of the people uh, were in favor of Heartland School versus Heartland Elementary School. Just a breakdown of the types of people that were responding, largely parent guardians, some community members, and also some alumni. Some of these, they could choose more than one option if they were a parent who was also an alumni. I was like, I was like how are you? How did, yeah. Yep. So yeah, if, if somebody was more than one thing, we gave them the, the way to choose both. And what I did, it looks like it cuts off quickly, but from the last board meeting, um, that very top comment that ends with students, school students a, a little bit younger, that was from last month. That's the only reason why it's cut off. So everything from leave as is down are the updated comments. Well, that's renaming the Back to the limited resources. <laughs> so, yeah, here's some people who are not in favor. Yeah, except for the last. Mm-hmm. Right. And Christine, I don't know. I can't see. I know that she had a, to step out at six thirty. Is she still in the room? She's still there. Oh, she is. Okay. I will let her take it away then. Unless Christine, unless you'd like me to do it, I'm good. Whatever you, whatever you need to do. CATV is muted again. Christine, can you just unmute yourself on your computer? Uh, yes, Michael. Uh, yes, yes. Lindsay, can you Lindsay, advance, can the, you slide? advance the slide? Yep. Okay. okay. And then, I think, Christine, that was the end of your report. Are you good? Okay. Uh, Lindsay? Yes. I didn't give it yet. Can you go back? Oh, 
Sorry. I'll go back. There you go. Lindsay, go forward one. Lindsay, can you unshare your screen? Absolutely. Christine, I'm not sure where you're at. Do you want me to keep going or wait? Thank you, Nikki. All right, I will reshare my screen. Alina, maybe if you don't mind, um, if there's like, hands kind of doing these one of things if we can't hear just unmute and let me know does that work you or michael i'd be happy to thank you thank you all right hi Lindsay, do you know that none of us can hear you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Okay, he's going to need to do something really quick. Really quick. Really quick. Really quick. Alina, Michael, Alina, we're just Alina. troubleshooting. It's the hat. Hey, Michael, while we're waiting, can you tell us about your background? Yeah, no, like the, your actual, the actual what's behind you? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the actual behind you background. <laughs> can you hear us now? Well, we can't hear him. Uh, yep. Can you guys hear us? Yes. yes. Well, we can't hear yes. You can hear us. She hung up on you. Yeah, we can hear you guys now. Michael is muted. Yeah, that's one of the backgrounds you can pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, oh, yeah, that's great. You can know yeah. recognize the Hobbit house, but where, where did you get it? It looks so realistic. So it was under one of the options here that you can pick. Huh. On, in really? Google. But it's yeah. not fuzzy like around your head like most of them are. That's why yeah. Yeah. we're struggling. because my head shines all the light off of it, so it makes it easier for other things to look better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or that or some Middle Earth magic is going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Whew. Okay, we're back up. <laughs> All right. We are good. And Nikki, can you just confirm for me that you see the right slide? Talks about budget questions. I, from I see yes. budget questions from last month. Beautiful. Okay. So last month, there was a question under where uh, flooring fall, fell under. So I asked Ed, and that does fall under the maintenance category. There was a question about the algebra breast that does fall under the S the SU assessments part of our budget. So that is covered within that. And I did include high school tuition in the FY24 budget presentation, which I think if I remember, yep, is the next slide. So I will just stop sharing this one and share another screen. Okay. Yeah, we're we're okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just for thank you, uh, Heather's clarifying that we're now on items for discussion. Um. So we're going to switch the community survey and the budget discussion. Um, well, didn't we do the community yeah. survey? Because we already talked about the community. Is that the name? Uh, yes. No, that's, well, there's that, but then there was also, um, we talked about, we'll come back to it. Okay. okay. That's right. <laughs> yeah. See? Oh, <laughs> yeah. The survey about the survey. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Go for it, Lindsay. <laughs> so, um, if it's all right with you, Nikki, and the rest of the board, what this is, I'll just slide back one. This is the same presentation from last month. But I've um, skipped to the slide that has the most recent updates. So this is a screenshot from the um, spreadsheet that I sent to you earlier today, the FY24 um, Heartland Comparative Budget Report. So here's a screenshot from this. Do you want me to run through the screenshots and then we have a discussion, Nikki? What, what is the best way you'd like me to do this? Yeah, I think we'll there's run just through the screenshots. And I have the I have the Excel spreadsheet open too. Yeah, so. there's yeah, there's just a lot to it. Um, I think the yeah, probably let's go through the overview to get people's heads back in the game, and then yep, we can ask specific questions. Does that sound good to you guys? Sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The the overall biggest plus side that we have right now is that we'll we'll be able to potentially uh, be able to utilize a $429,319 surplus, which was from FY22, which could could potentially be a really positive impact on the budget. 
So that's where um, Ed has outlined for us in this image, the first um, or the second, I should say, group um, where it has homestead property valuation impact, no surplus, that's without using it. The one below it is using that entire 429, 319 surplus. And down below that last um, group there, uh, last month you had asked for what that might look like on the tax rate to cut a variety of different amounts of dollars. So right there is 10,000, 15, 25, 50, and 100. And I think if I remember right, the next slide, oh no, there's, do you want me to pause here, Nikki, or go through the rest of these? Uh, yeah, you, uh, what, what do you guys want? We were just saying that like, you know, the difference between cutting $10,000 and cutting $100,000 is not gigantic. It's not, no, I mean, it, nope. it seems like it would be helpful to kind of to, yeah, get to the end yeah. and look at the look at the increase and the tax rate increase and then start yeah. going back to this. Yep. Keep okay. going, Lindy. Yep, that sounds like a plan. So this is from FY19 through FY24 comparison numbers in um, what it looks like. General budget numbers, homestead, equalized pupil, CLA, and the homestead tax rate. And some of these, depending on the screenshot, have similar items in both, but I just wanted to include everything for you, even if it was repeated. And this is FY16 through 24. And this was from that first screenshot that I sent you and what that might look like if you want us to cut certain amounts. So if you wanted us to cut around $10,000, that would likely come somewhere out of supplies. Um, Ed and I felt that anywhere between 15 to $25,000 could come out of the health reimbursement account. And from FY22, the budgeted amount that we had was 1,044,500, $1, but our actual was 121,811. And so Ed felt comfortable with taking that from there if uh, the ask for us is to cut that amount. Somewhere around $50,000, what we would do is we would remove the anticipated work. There's some main entrance work, um, some specifically with some doors and something, a few other things on the main entrance, as well as potentially new floors that we have discussed within previous months, going from the main doors to the slate foyer, those would be removed from the budget. And if we're thinking around $100,000, that's a teaching position with benefits and wages. And I think, yep, the next one is tuition. What we have uh, for the FY23 budget was 2,951,410. We're budgeting for FY24, $3,009,254. And I think that was, that's the end of the updates. Do you want me to stop sharing my screen, Nikki? And then we can have a further discussion from there. Um, right, because you can't see when you're sharing your screen. I cannot, but if you want me to keep my screen up, you can tell me to share something else. I'm fine with that. No, you know what? I'll, um, I can join the meeting and then, um, I can share the spreadsheet from this I'm happy. To, I'm happy to do that, Nikki. I can share it. It's fine. No, but I, I can it. see you, but if I can see you, um, it doesn't impact my ability to see people. Okay. <laughs> if I join from my laptop. Uh, okay. So. Okay. So I'm gonna share. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna ask a question. Know if it can carry over. Okay. Can I ask a question, Lindsay? Okay, so my question is, is so we've got this surplus of like, what we're just gonna call it a half a million dollars. Um, can you break up surpluses over two years? Meaning we use half of the surplus for the next year. And then I know that there's a year coming up that like you guys were calling it the cliff year where like all that, can you use the second half there to sort of no. like cushion that? You can't no. carry over. We can, we can put we can split it into capital reserve and using the surplus. Yep. But we can't 
special. Could you, what happens when it becomes capital reserve? Can you then pull from that at some point? You can pull for capital projects. Or not, not for sort of operating. But not for not other for operating. So it could, so like, a, can you give me an example of what a capital project is? Uh, like doors and floors. Okay, so like, in, like facilities. So work. I'm just trying to think creatively if there's like options. Um, <clears throat> so would it make sense to put some of the surplus into like a capital fund like the floors and the doors and the other sorts of things and put that off for just one year um, just so, I don't know, I don't know, I just, some ideas. Yeah, uh, no, I think that that's an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. I just want to go back to the big picture for a second. Our, oh, sorry, yeah, you guys are seeing me like as I flip through all the <laughs> spreadsheets, but our budget is going up by a little less than 6%. Correct. Yeah, I mean, that's, is that with the surplus or without the surplus? Uh, is that with the surplus or without the surplus? Without. That's the, that's just the, our, you know, what we're saying is our total operating costs for next year, not that. Total operating, operating costs. For that's, FY24. That's not, I don't feel like that's a big deal. Yeah, in a high inflation year, that's the strike That's. I don't huge. feel like that's out of control spending. And that's where, like, I want to stop right there and, like, because when you look at the tax scenarios, it's atrocious. So <laughs> I, I just, yeah. we are in an inflation year and we had um, agreed upon salary and benefits increases that were part of our negotiated package. And other than that, we're making no programming changes except for talking about replacing the floors and it's causing that dramatic of an impact on our taxes. That's <laughs> what correct. Like, yeah. Because our equalized pupil count is down. Our equalized pupil count is down. Right. And um, our CLA was really bad. And our CLA is yeah. I've got to think the CLA impacts the entire state, but come on. I know um, that um, I don't think Nikki is Christine in the room right now. No. So I, I know that Christine and I had a conversation the other day because the RC, can you scroll down a little bit for me? Is this where our CLA, oh, that, maybe not that. No, I don't think so. Is it on here? And it might be, yeah, the 81, oh, okay. the 81.26, I know triggers for the town of Heartland a, uh, a gosh, the, the escaping. Reappraisal. Me. Thank you. A reappraisal. And, Christine was talking to Dave Ormison the other day, and he had mentioned that there were many, many towns through the state of Vermont that were facing the same thing, and there just is a shortage of appraisers through the state. So we're we're not alone in um, by by our CLA needing to be reappraised. Yeah. Yeah. Tax rate. So yeah, the homestead tax rate changes. It's so, yeah, so our homestead tax rate is a 12% increase, even though even we're, our budget is only a 6% increase. Right. And it's it's all about the equalize. Yeah, yeah. People count. I mean, the end of CLA, I think. But yeah, I think the CLA has a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. We're, I mean, we've lost 29 students. Is that what it was on your reading that correctly? Uh, <sighs> Oh, from last year, CT change, count change. Yeah. 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 And I know that um, in a couple weeks we are due to have two new students begin with us, which is great. And actually, just this evening, I got another email that there are two additional students. I don't know a timeline on that, but you know, in the near future, that's a, a plus four students that are joining us very shortly. Lose. Oh, we didn't lose them. That's the equalized book. So we didn't lose yeah. them all this year. Right. Right. It's over the three. It's the average of the three years. <sighs> okay. Um, so, I mean, I think we've got to apply some of the surplus. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Colleen, you got any opinions? <laughs> when she finished her king? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I guess I'm seeing kind of what makes sense for what's been happening in the last couple of years. Inflation. Yeah. At 6% okay. doesn't sound so bad. Um, I did have a question about the FY. Are FY24 numbers in here? Uh, which spreadsheet do you want? This one. The, um, are those numbers real or estimates? Those are as real as uh, 30th of December. I mean, that's the budget that we would have to vote on if we Correct, yep. Um, yep. And the state's not going to change these numbers again? <laughs> not that we're aware of in this moment. <laughs> and the, the one, as I look at the budget, the one question I have, um, for me anyways, is the flooring and whether it's the right year to do the flooring or we should, you know, or if that's something we could wait on. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's going home with you. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll pick her up or not, we'll get her. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> child, child arrangement. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that would, I mean, that would be my only Okay. Yeah, and then if we go to the tax scenarios, that would have an impact of 0.2%. Well, put 3%. How about the doors? The, like, the floors and the doors? What is the door project? I talked to you. Are security? we trying to, what are we trying to reduce costs for? The impact on town meeting? Yeah, the impact on taxes. I, uh, Lizzie, what is the door project? I spoke to Jim Taft about that yesterday. Um, I said, I feel like the board's going to ask about what this door project is all about. Um, and his response to me was he felt comfortable waiting another year. Um, that, okay. you know, so if that's something that we want to pause on one year, he felt comfortable doing that. Is it something we're going to keep pushing off more and more and more, especially as I mean, we have. That's why I'm asking about. Yeah, that. It's, I know. Something that we, um, you know, when when we'd had enough incidences, we were we we had a well, high level of concern about security. What is the is the yeah. door project a security project or is it? Oh. It it seemed somewhat of it. He wasn't completely clear on what that would look like. He his quick response to me was, "It can wait another year." Um, well, I guess we find out about that then. Yep. So, do you want me to come back to you? Do you want me to do I that for February? Or do you want it more? I can try to if you get. I can try to call him now if that is more helpful for us in this moment. I kind of want to know what it is. Cause... Yep. Yeah. I do. Um, I don't know that it makes a huge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the total the total estimated cost for that was, I think, somewhere. I think I have it written in one of the slides, but somewhere around sixteen thousand total for the doors. Yeah. Not huge. The doors no. You can bring that to thirty. Thirty. Thirty-two thousand. Yeah. So we took off the doors and floors. We're now, which yeah, is a, we're like almost at point. 75% shoot through the middle. Yeah. Nikki, would, would you like me to call Jim now really quick? I can mute myself and call him. Yeah, we can all keep talking. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I really wish I understood <clears throat> how the CLA was impacting everybody. Because if we're all at 80%, yeah. right? 
That is a big difference from two years ago. I was, like, looking at our numbers, I feel like it's either the Eagle at Google is hammering us or the CLA or they're both hammering us. Yeah. And, and it's combination. And there are some, and with, with the equalized people, there are some like cliffs is my, is my, we're not, we're not getting the penalty though. Right? We're not getting, we're not getting the excess spending penalty. So that's good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Still a 6% per, increase, but somehow miraculously it turns into 12. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Well, like that's the same funding by, formula for us. <laughs> like, it's like this magic. It's divided by fewer students. Yeah. So the per pupil cost goes up, and that's what causes that. Mm -hmm. um, what was our per pupil? Our per pupil increase was only 5.8%. Oh, wait, no. No, it's. Um, Do we have? We don't have the per pupil. No, it's down. Are you less people? Oh, no, our per people, our per people spending is the thing. That yeah, would be, I mean, we can try to do that math right I now. I can do that right now. Okay. I'll let you do it. I'll let you do it. You're better than I am. Um, it's interesting to hide the, the budget, hide the numbers of people as people. Oops. How many people as people? Uh, 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 All right, Nikki, do you want my update from Jim Taft? Oh, yeah. That was fast. He's quick. He's good. So he said it is not a security update. It is cosmetic in replacing the doors. He has no security concerns. So it has nothing to do with security, more cosmetic. Okay. Okay. Well, from that sweet access the doors, the sweet new entrance that those yeah. girls are proposed. <laughs> so, yeah, we're no one's going to look at the doors. Okay. Right. Uh, they can paint the doors. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm getting all Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Really okay. Oh, wow. It's a huge change. Yeah. So that's the jump right there. Right, right where? Uh, 21,000 to 24,000? Yeah, and that's equal. That's just the drop in equalized people. That's all that is. No, I mean we've, you know, this is the thing that we've, we've been, you know, we've been talking about, um, and it, it's it's catching up with us. Right. Um, and we didn't want to make any staffing changes this year. Yeah. So the only, you know, the only place we can go is some of these other things that are outside of. Yeah. Um, so should we move to talk about removing flooring and doors in this budget? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can talk about that. It just doesn't make a difference. <laughs> like, we can remove all the floors and doors we want. It will make a 19.5 right. I mean, we really should be like, like, like cutting. <laughs> um, oh, these numbers are scary. Okay. Uh, I mean, Lindsay, what's your What's your feeling about it? I think if the board is interested in making a cut that is that feels more significant. So this year, I know that the the board, the 516 last year came to the board and had a conversation around a model where there would be it's one classroom that right now our current fifth graders is one classroom of students. They came to you last year discussing the possibility of having two certified staff. It would depend on the moment of which staff member was the classroom teacher and which was the interventionist at the time. I would feel comfortable not hiring that person. Um, right now it is currently, that person is not hired um, due to other personnel related things that have happened. 
that plan has not been put into place. So I would feel comfortable not hiring that person, which would eliminate around $100,000 with benefits and salary from the budget. Would though, like, because that as that class keeps moving, right? Don't at some point, don't we have to replace this position at this moment? Like, wouldn't we have to replace it at some point? The group yes. next year would be sixth graders. Um, and then what, what that would end up likely meaning are, is some conversations with the staff in house around what that's going to look like for a six, seven, eight, which is the SU's middle level model. So it would, I don't think in this moment we would need to replace that person because it would just require a conversation with our six, seven and eighth grade team around what that might look like. So I know that they're revamping the um, education quality standards, but the previous education quality standards that we hired to rearrange to try and fix is that our six, seven, eight team was teaching over a hundred kids, which was beyond the education quality standards. Do we know where we would be next year? Like, do we have that class list? Um, yes, it might take me a minute, Nikki, but I can find it. Give me like 30 seconds and I can find what the total, are you looking for the total number of students six, seven and eight added together for next year? Yeah. Yep, give me like 30 seconds and I can find that. Okay. The sixth graders, seventh graders, eighth graders. So just those thirty, thirty next year's. So it would be right this year's fifth, sixth, and seventh. Exactly. Right. So it would be um, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be under. That's going to be under. That's going to be easily be under. Say thirty-five, thirty-five, and a little fifteen, right? Yeah. So seventeen. So is current sixth grade still like forty students, or is it more? Yeah, it's still, it's quite large. The sixth grade is the, the biggest. The sixth grade is large. But the, the seventh grade, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nikki, Everybody's running numbers, running numbers. Nikki, it would be a total of 79 students for next year's 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. That's, good. That's, okay. That's, That's okay. the right size. Otherwise, okay. Uh, uh, can we just go through? Do you have the list right in front of you? Of, of numbers for each class? Yep, you, I can give you that. You want starting from first grade, Nikki? Is that what I'm seeing? Or K? You want K? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. I just think visually, I want to have. Are, are you doing yep. K for next year? Uh, this is. Uh, you can give me this year's K, and I'll just change it. That's fine. And I, what I will note with K, um, I'm just what I'm doing. My quickest way to access it is through PowerSchool, which is our student information system. We have a number of 41, but that. 41 number does include some students from other communities because we house the TK program. So I just wanted to to make sure that you knew that. Yeah. So, okay, we'll write 41 and we'll adjust yep. that in a minute. Yep. Okay. Uh, first grade is 30. Second grade is 23. Third grade is 24. Fourth grade is 24. Fifth grade is 15. Sixth grade is 37. Seventh grade is 27. Okay. And we don't need eighth grade. Correct. We're yep. never going to run into a problem unless and all those five, kindergarten kids. Okay, so we can subtract. We subtract five, so 36 to okay. 36 kindergarten. Okay. So we're, it, is 100 the magic number? Um, uh, it was, those are being edited, but I will say like our staff, when the staff started managing a hundred kids, they you guys stressed. were miserable. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's too and nice. you can see it yeah. and feel it. Um, and so I do think, I think there's a reason maybe they said a hundred is the threshold. <laughs> that that's so even if, we, even if we said um, 90, I mean, you lump these kids together and you go three by three, I mean, you're not, you're not over 90 until the kindergartners of all 36 of them stay around. And if we have huge classes coming behind them, yeah. which we probably won't. 
But I mean, even if you do, things are going to change anyways. Right. In I mean, that's a lot of years. Yeah, it just gets us through three or four years. It gets you through very that. safe place. Yes. Yeah. Um, Nikki, I don't know if this is helpful or not, but just today I got, had a, a projected for kindergarten next year and it was 20. Ooh, that's that's as of right now. You know, there, there yeah. could very easily be more. We're early, um, but that was the number I was given today. I'm going to do 25. Because um, that's kind of, I mean, we've been averaging actually higher, 36, 30, 23. Um, okay. Okay, so that gives us that. So six, eight. Okay, so 79 kids. I think that feels good. Helene, I want you in the room, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll come back, I promise. <laughs> but does that like how are you feeling about this okay okay she, sorry go ahead I'll, like are we allowed to ask michael how he might feel about yes. like the numbers we definitely are. michael can i ask you how you feel like does 79 does 85 feel manageable like what is the number that you know 100 we've decided definitely doesn't but like you know, right yeah, I, I probably have a very biased opinion because I came from a school where I taught 185 students in one year. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when I when I look at these numbers, you know, honestly, if if you're looking at a classroom uh, and you have 20 to 25 students, so that literally, and with seventh and eighth graders, we split those. You know, there's no reason why 100 and really even probably 110 is still safe because remember in seventh and eighth grade they split and, and eventually we're hoping to have this be a little bit more uh, of a um, piecemealing effect happen uh, hopefully in the future. So the numbers aren't that large at all. They're actually quite small in my opinion. Because even with that class of 37 students, they're not all going to be in one classroom in seventh and eighth grade. And even in sixth grade, they're not in one classroom. You only have 13, what is it? You have like uh, 18 in one and maybe 16 or 19 in the other. So it's not a ton of students. But again, we, I, I used to teach 38 students at one time and I was by myself. So I. I can I, uh, yeah. So it's taking that and thinking about when they move into the lab in the library, right? right? 20 is a lot of students yes. in that space to do what we're trying to do. So I think when, you, when we talk about moving it to 20 would be the absolute cap. I mean, yeah. when I will put all of the sixth grade in there, yeah. we, we have to use the entire library in spread. I mean, right. and when I'm trying to do the mini lesson, or we, we are literally, <laughs> yeah, so that okay. makes it hard. I mean, yeah. there's, so it depends. That it just so you you're doing entire grades when you're doing your lessons. Well, so the sixth grade we um, there have been because of my split between K six and or K five and six eight sixth grade. Sometimes we take because I only can meet them once a week, okay. so it's sort of all at once, and then, and that's the biggest space yeah. that we have to put them in order to do that. When we spread out, it's it's very effective. Yeah. So it's just that. It's manageable, but I wouldn't want to do that all day long. <laughs> yeah. day. I mean, it's yeah. it's, it's yeah. a little uncomfortable, but for the 15 minutes that we need to spend, we can do it. But, uh, you know, like I said, 20 is sort of that max. Because then you think about if you have to double class to do those kinds of lessons, right. because you're collaborating and you're doing those right. problem solving, PBL things, um, yeah. we just want to be mindful of that. That's, yeah. That's my only input. And there, there may be ways with scheduling too to to think about, you know, yeah, how to manage that. Um, well, because right now, six, seven, eight is kind of like six different classes that are all running. That's correct, Nikki. Our two sixth grade teachers are yeah. they. 
we're integrating with seven, eight in some aspects of the day, but in terms of the curriculum academic parts of the sixth grade day, it is two core teachers that, that do not include that seven, eight team at the moment. The hope um, and the, the move forward with the SU's vision of a six, eight middle level is to include sixth grade into the more instructional aspects of the day of what is currently right now just seven and eight. So, I mean, that's what we would be doing with if, yeah. if we did this, we would yeah. have, have to do that. So we sort of push the envelope like on that. that. <laughs> it's almost like a transitional like a, period yeah. where you have, instead of six classes, all of a sudden six, seven, eight, you only have, you're going from like four and seven, eight to five to because five, you've got right. a micro class. And then at some point, we'll, and then you'll go to six. It'll back up to six. Okay. Um, I, <clears throat> obviously, that will require some moving around to below to make that work. Mm -hmm. um, although, I suppose it was always going to require some <laughs> moving around to make that work when we got, when they came up through. Um, but I just want to make sure that that won't be disruptive to, um, you know, to anybody who's there now, or you don't have any concerns about that. No. Well, I think that that, so that takes, that would be yeah. Would, wages and benefits would be about a hundred thousand. Yeah, I can't run those numbers. Uh, if you pull up one of Ed's, right? One of Ed's. Um, that first. Yep, it might be that one. Yep, yeah. down there. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred thousand. So that would take off. It would get the tax rate down to one point eight eight. It's almost a 2% change in the tax rate. Yeah. Um, um, right. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so equalize FY23 equalize pupils, and then we ran that number somewhere. Is that here? Oh, but that's yeah, the way it's a time. Oh, maybe total number more. Right. What were you guys saying over there? Like, sorry, <laughs> we were just talking about the that you know, like ten million dollars for a school budget is not like no. that. That just doesn't feel crazy to me in any way. Um. Okay. So, uh, so, if we apply the surplus, oh yeah, if we do apply the surplus, yes. and we take out the ten thousand dollars, hundred thousand, sorry. So, could we call that like six hundred thousand dollars now? A little rounding up, but like adding money in there. Surplus, yeah, surplus five twenty nine. What number did you use? So the five twenty nine surplus. Oh, the 429 surplus okay, plus, plus the 100,000 plus the 100,000 is 529. Right. So 
you know, add that back. Surplus again for 429318. Why is that so funny? Okay, so that's where that number came from. Oh, so with the surplus, we're going up, but that's with this. Okay. Uh, so then I'm going to subtract. Okay, so that's a 12% increase or equalize people if we go with uh, taking away $100,000 versus 13. So we're getting 1.2% all back. It's not, I mean, it's not much. It's like, it sounds like nothing, right? It's like, it's not that these changes, I mean, the changes are big. I mean, it changes are huge. I think we keep our budget pretty tight. We we're talking about scraping a hundred thousand dollars off, which is significant, but it's not not millions. No. Um, but it there, there's just not a lot of room. There's yeah, but I would say that I mean it's our responsibility to yeah. make the school as strong as possible for as cost effective as possible and I absolutely I feel like we're kind of there well when we approved the five, the, the five six staffing plan you know part of that discussion was as this group moves into the middle school right this position will have to be taken away so, I mean so I think that is you know that okay. was always something that was going to happen it just it, you know, it's happening a year sooner. It's happening a year before we had partially it. because our middle school expanded by a year too. Because before our middle school was five six. That's right. So we couldn't have done it before. Yeah. You're right. Uh, I believe Michael might be able to speak to more to the date, but I'm trying to remember. I think it was the spring of this last school year was when that decision with the SU middle level team was decided. So it would have been after we approved the budget last year. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I guess my my uh, my outstanding question is just, you know, it sounds like one of the impacts on staff would be these slightly bigger groups in the middle school, especially for. I mean, there's work around. So so, go, but yeah. I just want to be wary of it. Yeah, yeah. So, no, and I want to, and I, I do want I want to understand sort of the, the impacts, even if they're not, you know. Yeah, even if they're not. Um, killers like <laughs> because all all the little stresses add up and it you know um so it sounds like that's one are there are there others you know that we should be aware of is the i don't know the only class i mean none of the other classes are even close to the sixth grade no it's like not this. even outlier yeah no. so i don't know if, i mean until kindergarten moves up but that always changes. So, yeah. And we must be graduating a small class and adding a small class because it didn't make much of a difference there either. Yeah. Do you, do you want the current eighth grade? Currently, on what I have is 34. Okay, so the current eighth grade is 34. And so we must be graduating near that in the 12th grade. Yeah, yeah, that's Judson's class, and they were, they've been a big, they've been a pretty big class all along, like 30, they, they were like 37, 38, 39, and they were here, so yeah, I imagine, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay, so we need to give Lindsay marching orders. Okay, so for one, I wish we had Christine here. We need to vote on this. Tonight? Um, that was the goal, but I think given what we're talking about, we need to have a short special meeting and have that. Yeah, here. Um, it can be a really short meeting, though. It just be Lindsay coming back with our changes and giving us final numbers. So, Nikki, um, then would you like me to come back to the board with, and I, th I think I'm understanding this correctly, you know, please tell me if I'm wrong, the using the 429319 with an additional $100,000 cut, and what would that look like in the budget? Am I right about that? Yeah. Okay. Do you want 
Do you want to throw in the doors and the floors just to see what that like if what that would change? To? Well, we can run. I mean, we can run those numbers kind of on our own. Like what I want, Lindsay. Like I want us to make the decisions now that she comes back with a budget and says this is what it is. Yeah. And, and then from say, there, you say yes or no. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be like I want to decide because we can kind of fuss with this spreadsheet enough tonight to make to understand. Um, <laughs> next year, next year is the year that we're going to have the Title One clip. Right. right. Can you talk about the Title One? That's clip? an important piece of this. The Are you referring to the two the two title interventionists that we have? So yeah. we we did not meet the forty percent threshold for what may and what may qualify for Title One funding. As we sit here right now, we don't have the answers of what that might look like in a shakeout in terms of funding for the two interventionists that we have. So we don't know that at this point. So we have those, and then we run out of ESSER funds too. That was the other thing, right? The ESSER funds. Uh, correct. <laughs> So yes. Next year, you guys are going to be. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Sorry, it's going to the way you phrase that. <laughs> you guys. You guys are going to be. Uh, no, I mean, I, I think we've got to. We've got to do something this year to because uh, otherwise it's just going to be a, it's going to be a disaster. It's going to be worse next year. It's going to be worse. You're going to have to cut existing staff positions. Right. Well, even not. as it is next year, if we lose two title. And I thought we had two ESSER funded positions as well. That is correct. Yep, there are two ESSER funded mm -hmm. positions. So, do, so I think doing this this year may save a job next year. Like that's not, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think so. I think I mean, it's, like I just feel like the state's gonna have to. Help. I think it's the right thing to do. Yeah. I mean, we can't lose four staff. No, we can't in this building. No, it wouldn't can't. function. Right. No, we can't. <laughs> Um, so is, what am I right? we have two ESSER funded positions as well? That's correct. Yes. Yeah. And where those staff are teaching and intervention right now? One is at the middle level and the other, oh my goodness. I'm trying to remember where the other one is off the top of my head. Um, are they intervention or are they? No, no, not or, intervention. Yeah. <laughs> that just seems like impossible. We're going to have to open the part of this. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I do think getting, yeah. getting the budget down as much as we can without losing an existing staff position this year then it gives us some more room next year. It gives a little more leeway next year so that right. if the budget has to go up to cover some of those positions, it's not. I don't know. It's a, it's a, tough, it's a tough one. It's mind-boggling, to be honest. Like, We can't be the only board facing it, right? There, because there are other funded positions all over the state, and right. Um, there, you know, there may be some. And this, this is probably something to be talking to our legislators about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, do we? That's your conversation. So. The other thing that we can do, how much is in our capital reserve account? Is that within these documents or would, let me see. Uh, I don't think, I don't so. think it is. No. Okay. Uh, Christine may know that, but she she's... might. So do you want me to come? I don't know what Christine's timeline is in coming back into this meeting, but do you want me to come back to the board, assuming she does not return, with what's in our capital reserve and what the budget would look like with the surplus included minus a hundred thousand dollar cut. Uh, 
Yeah, I think right now we're at. Um, these right now we're at this budget, including the surplus. Nikki, I'm not sure if you're talking, but I can't hear you. I do see Christine is back though. Hello, Christine. I can't see you. I also can't hear the voice and picture of CATV is off. Is it because you walked through the door, Christine? Is that what you were saying? <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? You're back. Yep. Um, Christine says, Wait one second, folks. Oh, oh, sorry. That's okay. I'm still sharing. Can you hear? Yeah. Can, can you hear us? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they can hear us. I just need to get the stream back. Oh, for YouTube. Oh, oh. <laughs> something that we don't think yeah. OK. Um. One minute. It should be still going. Oh, it's still, it's still going? Yeah. Amazing. Exactly. Great. Fantastic. Uh, no, that was the next question. OK. You're good to go. Because right now. OK. OK. Yeah. So um, Christine just said that the capital reserve is around three hundred and something. I don't know exactly. A thousand and something. Mm -hmm. um, three hundred thousand so, something. Sorry, is that what you said, Christine? Yeah. yeah. So could we take off the doors and floors and use the capital reserve for that? Um, yes. And so that that was my question of what other things mm -hmm. do we have in here that are capital? Um, the Black River study. It's also capital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's use it. Well, well my capital, capital has I not grown I, at all. It hasn't, I, it hasn't grown, and there are we have had you know things go wrong. Mm -hmm. The yeah. HVAC system and there's been things where we needed yeah. to have that exactly. Design, so exactly. Um, so if we. I'm going to get an exact number from Ed right now. Okay. Is Ed like always on call? I swear. The oh, during Chris, budget Christine, season? when you were gone, Jim Taft was on call for me too. <laughs> good people. Just good. Good. Just <laughs> well, and they know what we're dealing with. Okay, so these are just straight numbers. The current tax rate. You know, pennies per hundred thousand per hundred thousand yeah. assessed property because yeah. sometimes I know in the past some of us, you know, you they got that right here. It gets you a couple percentage points, but when you then it's like twenty dollars. Right. For a taxpayer and you sort of then make that. So at the yeah, so I can actually just copy this table. Okay. So right 
10 minutes. So if I change, oh, what is that? Why did that be a happy so That was weird. It really was. Uh, I knew. Are you on YouTube then? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm going to. Okay, still did it again. That's my name. It's fine. Um, this goes here. Okay, back. Um, okay, so then this would become. Uh, I'm on public. Public. Yeah. Public too. Um, I am as well. Okay, so here's the difference if we go down to the 1.88. Um, so the the $166 for a $100,000 house. Yeah. And I mean, 832 is a lot better than 1000 It is. Um, uh, so, I mean, usually, oh, which is a whole lot better yeah. than 18. I mean, we use the, generally we use the, um, the ones in the middle to kind of base, right? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, the 250 or the yeah. 300, you know. Um, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. We're just going to so, put that in. Yeah, I mean, that's like saving the average taxpayer 400 bucks by... By using the surplus, right? Yeah, uh, that the one point eight eight. Oh, in here, right? It goes from nine nineteen to, to five. five eleven. Yeah. So yeah, so that's a big one. Um, and then taking away the hundred thousand, we go from five eleven to four sixteen. Yeah. So that's so that's another yeah yeah. So that's so it's five hundred five hundred dollars. Um, um, and more for some people. Um, how much money feels appropriate to leave in the capital reserve? As much as we possibly can. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in case it's an emergency. <laughs> it was at like, I think when I joined the board, it was at like six or seven hundred. Yeah. <laughs> we have, we have, I don't, I think we put money in awards. Like part of the surplus one here. I don't think I did. Maybe not. No, I don't think we've ever put anything in. We took some out. We took yeah. much out. <laughs> we took, we took out half of it. Right. We've never had a year where we had a surplus that we weren't trying to right reduce offset the tax rate. Yeah. We wanted to. But mm -hmm. Does it feel <clears throat> okay? How much is the Black River thing? Is it worth it to put it in? It's ten thousand. Ten thousand. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. not. Yeah. It's not. I mean, I think this is kind of where we need to be. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't want to go look at the floors. <laughs> I mean, that's my. I mean, it sounds like the door is a no-brainer to wait, right? Like that can. Yeah. Be, I mean, it's not like what Jim was saying. But the question right? is, is do we want to put it off till next year? No. Because it'll be even harder to do it next year. It's not going to happen next year. Yeah. Because like, it's going to either be a door or somebody's health insurance or something. Yeah, <laughs> 16. 16. Yeah. I mean, is that where you use? I mean, like, do we use the like the thirty-two thousand of capital reserve for those two things, and then that brings you down to like three ten ish. As long as this is three forty, but that's not gonna make. No, but at least it gets done, and it takes a tiny bit off, and. I don't know if that affects the capital reserve that, you know, $32,000. Does that affect it that much? I don't 
considering where the capital reserve used to be, it makes me nervous. Yeah. It's as low as it is right now. <laughs> This is low. <laughs> if you don't keep up maintenance on the buildings, you know what right. happens. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna go look at the floors and go because I feel it needs to look. Do you know what I actually do as well as we're making this decision? Be right back. I'm just gonna look at the door. I'm gonna look at the floors. I guess I'll go over one. I might go. Are you gonna go home already? Already? Already. It's eight o'clock. Is it the bed? Tina, thank you for coming. They did great. They did. See you tomorrow. See ya. Oh, thank you, Tina. <laughs> you see them every day? Tina, obviously, we're going to see you Yeah, it's not bad. Well, what'd you see? So the floors, the so there's black tiles that look like part of the blue carpeting has been replaced um, somewhat recently, and then the blue carpeting looks awful. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really dingy and it's pretty worn. Um, I mean, I don't. The door, the doors, the doors look okay to me. Look okay to yeah. The doors look okay to That's me. Not a lot. But. I know, <laughs> it's not much money. Um, did Jim give you, Jim, like Lindsay, you're hearing us talk. Did Jim give you anything to tell you yes or no to what we are hearing or? No, he had just said the doors are cosmetic, nothing safety related, and that he felt that it could wait a year. You know, he he may not have the bigger budgetary picture that as we're talking about in terms of, you know, some more expenses that are coming in the next fiscal year, but from where right. he stands, it was cosmetic, not anything security related. I'm just wondering, like, if we're doing a black, the Black River, I don't know if we call it a study. Design. Design, yeah. I Like, how cosmetic is it? Do we have to do it next year? Or if it's four years from now, is that? Jim did not feel like it was a need to for next year. Yeah, somewhere around 16, I think 16.5 or so, Christine, for the doors. Yeah, 16,000, not 100. Yeah. Yeah, 1,000, not 100. Yeah. 16,000, yep. I, yeah, I, I, think, I think we pitch it. Pitch it. Yeah, yeah. I think take the doors out. I think yeah. the carpet, I kind of think we need to keep. I mean, I can go either way, but I... I would defer to the people in the building who have experience of, you know, if you if you let it go, does it cause bigger problems and all of that? I, the carpet? Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't look very nice. No. It's <laughs> and, and I do remember Jim said to me um, when we were talking about the difference between, I think it's what they called VCT tiles versus carpet. Jim had said that, you know, if we were ever to move forward in any sort of direction in terms of a renovation, that we could more likely reuse the carpet versus the VCT tiles, if that's something we want to consider. Yeah. Yeah. 
the, the VCT tiles are uh, not the carpet tiles, right? It's like more like that. That's yeah. correct. By like the kindergarten hallway, Christine, those are the VCT tiles. Yeah, so you can reuse the carpet tiles, yeah. right? But not the tiles they put down. Yep. Yeah. Are we going to want to use the carpet tiles over again? I mean, like, probably not. Gosh, I hope not. So no. I know. So so what's the point of doing it if we're not if we neither if we're not going to reuse any of them? Like, I just feel like like that floor in four years is not like <laughs> not going to look great. It's going to be threadbare. And, well, we really just repaint disgusting. the walls, and maybe people focus looking on the walls. <laughs> 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 Why, like orange, Christine? Look <laughs> 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 the school board in and be at the floor <laughs> orange. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're gonna do right, so the question is, if you're gonna do it, you want to do it right, right? Yeah. And you don't want to spend the money doing it right if you're going to be ripping it up, ripping it up, right? Yeah. Right. So. I mean, as much as a new new rug would look really pretty, I, I don't. I just it feels wasteful to like just rip it up in two years, three years, even four years. Like, I, yeah, I do feel like some of that is going to be threadbare. And, and if time, I mean, the other the other thing to do would be to wait until we know whether the construction right. is going forward yeah. or not. Mm -hmm. If it's not, then certainly it needs to be replaced. Yeah, yeah that's a good. Yeah, you know, I like that. To wait, because we can wait be, a year. So it'll be March year. next year. Yeah. March of next year, we'll know. It's not ideal, but no. we're, you know, it's a tough budget. Yeah. Lindsay, what do you? That sounds your, that sounds reasonable to me. Waiting until March of next year, and then when we have a, a firmer answer from the community and whether or not they would support a renovation, then we make a decision based on what the community tells us. In the meantime, Christine, if any other school decides to pick up any floor tiles, we'll take them. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that would be another yeah. thing. Yeah. If anybody else renovates and gets rid of nice yeah. floor tiles, yeah. we'll, we'll take them. Take them. Um, and years. even if we are facing this, we were, we were talking about the fact that next year with the ESSER fund, you know, with the, the ESSER funded positions and the Title I money, you know, it's going to be really tough. But we still do have that capital, yeah. so the carpet could be done out of the capital exactly. fund. Exactly, that's what I was thinking right. too. Um, and just to help clarify numbers, we have two ESSER funded positions and two title funded positions. That's correct. So we could potentially like how would, they, would this school function without those four positions? I mean, it would have a pretty drastic impact on our. It would be like devastating. Yeah. I I just like I I just need to. I can't imagine it. So I, if you're reducing the budget by a hundred thousand, yeah, that's your proposal. So that's one of those. More. That's one. And we're, you know, the title we don't know until until we know, yeah. Yeah. right? Hopefully, it's not uh, drastic, but yeah, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean that. But that just to reinforce that that's the right thing to do. That by by pulling back a bit this year, you're being we're, proactive. we're being yeah. proactive. And, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, Lindsay, so here's where I think your marching orders are, and everybody else can chime in if I'm wrong. I think we're getting rid of a teaching position um, before we hire for that person. Um, and we're going to hold off a year on the tiles and the doors. Um, were there any other things? And just so that I'm clear, Nikki, that all, this also includes using all of that surplus. Is that correct? Yes, all of the surplus. Okay. Yep. I think it's part of the budget that we choose, like we say, that we will use, use the surplus. surplus. Yeah. Um, okay, so that took off. 132,000? Give or take. Yeah, with the, with the teaching position and the doors and floors? Yeah. Yep. And so, and maybe that gets us down to like 1.85 for tax rate. Well, 
No, cutting 100 takes us down to 188. Oh, yeah, I see. So, well, so it probably is about 18, maybe 18, but let's, yeah, let's run numbers for 1.85. Okay, so if we're at 1.85. That, that really, that moves it. Yeah, so it's $333 for a $250,000 house. That's pretty darn good. That feels That's much better than 900. Yeah, where were we before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were, we were at 919. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. And even 511, bringing it down, if we just use the surplus, like, yeah, 333, yeah. that's like, that really did make a difference. Okay, let's do it. I'm in. So do you need, um, it's today, it's January 3rd, we have another meeting in February, I think, February. I think we need it for them. I think we do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we need a special meeting, but I wanted to go into that special meeting with Lindsay being able to say, this is your number, yeah. this is what we're, and we're voting and yep. we're done. Yep. Um, so Lindsay, can you like, in you our want presentation, me to yeah, can we just review to make sure, like... Uh, you want me to recap for you the, what I'll bring to you in a, for a special meeting? Is that right? No, I was just wondering, no. like, I, I think we've honed in on these things. I just want to make sure that we honed in on the right things. So what were the, what were the optional, what, what were our optional, like you could just read them off. I know you had them in your presentation. And they were back. Yes. yes. Let me let me pull it up real quick for you. I think what your uh, I think are you thinking like the what would what is something we'd cut if we were to cut ten thousand dollars? That is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So ten thousand dollars we'd cut from supplies. Somewhere between fifteen to twenty-five thousand, we felt comfortable taking it from the HRA, the health reimbursement account. Fifty thousand was the removal of the work for the main entrance, which was sixteen thousand five hundred, as well as the slate foyer, so sixteen thousand five hundred. Okay. And then, um, the yep. Oh yeah, keep going. Sorry, and then the hundred thousand was the yeah was the teaching position. Okay, and those so. So those were the categories if we were trying to hit certain numbers. Um, the changes to this budget from last year, like, is there anything else that we should discuss? Like what, what are the other changes from last year's budget to this year's budget? Are there any, they're not. The, the only other thing that is about, I wanna say it's about $10,000 is the FM system that we would like to put in the middle level classrooms. And that's 10,000 total. I feel like that's an equity thing that I'm not willing to cut. Yeah, yeah, I'm not willing to cut that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I would like. I want, and you guys can speak up. I would like to look at the HRA, um, because like I'd like Ed to look at. It's a fairly new program, mm -hmm. and we have had it now long enough to understand how it works. So I'd like Ed to run numbers of we're using 80% or of mm -hmm. total, and then maybe give us an extra 5% of leeway, and then let's cut that from the budget. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, unless he thinks yep. it's an aberration this year, but it, as long as it's not an aberration, that seems like a safe. Well, because we've got a few years of yep. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, at least, yeah, right? Yeah, and what, I guess you guys, not everybody was here for the history of this. Um, the HRA was part of the uh, the VHI, the insurance yeah. yeah. re-budgeting right. that happened. Yeah. And so when that all happened, right. We didn't know how our staff was going to use mm -hmm. the changes, and um, so with the HRA, we just budgeted that we were going to use 100. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that our staff was going to use 100. Yeah. percent um, Which at the time we all thought was slightly unrealistic. I think even Ed did, but not knowing, we didn't want to 
get ourselves into a hole. Yep. So right. now that we have three years of data, I think we can create a much more reasonable estimate. Yep. And then add a couple percentages of mm -hmm. leeway in there so that we, um, just in case. Yeah, just in case. Yep. So that we're not, we're not, I don't want to bare bones it by any means, but I also would like to create something realistic. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you guys, you guys decide that number, and we're good with whatever number you decide for that. Um, okay. And then take the doors and the floors and the one position, and we'll schedule a meeting to figure out the total. The total. And what the total ahead. that is. Yep. Okay. I think we're good there. Um, so. I think that concludes our budget discussion. Mm -hmm. So this community survey was like a half. I have an idea, clearly. <laughs> I'm moving on to the next topic, okay. which was up. <laughs> so I had half an idea to like reach out to the community to try and engage them prior to the meeting or after the meeting. Um, on the name change or on, uh, no, you know, just on general, yeah. how do you feel about the school, what's going on? Yeah, but at this point, I don't feel like it's a fully formed enough idea for me to implement it, and we would really need to be implementing it, like, the second. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to can that idea. Yeah. Um, Some looks good in the spring for the yeah. upcoming year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just to give feedback. Yeah. Um, like a year in review, how do we do? What are we doing? Yeah, well, that's right. Like, if you sort of towards the end of yeah. the school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. When you say um, community, are you saying like all of Heartland or school community? I was thinking all of Heartland. Just trying to figure out like what what are people's questions? What are the people's <laughs> concerns? What do they see from us? Because they don't see. Are we communicating enough? Right. right. Do they right. feel that connection? The community yeah. dinners. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The hot breakfast the other week. I thought that was great. Yeah, there was hot breakfast. There was a hot breakfast for anybody in the community when the power was out. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, I I thought thought that that's that. brilliant. Yeah, yes. I thought it was brilliant. That was great. We had COVID, so I wrote it off. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just opened your door and you could have chucked stuff in and just right. driven it off. We didn't have power, but we had COVID. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Can you all three of the four of us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think. Items for action, we are not going to vote on the budget right now, but we are going to set the next agenda, which yeah. will be to vote on the budget. Yeah. Um, okay, so everybody pull out their phones. Um, and I honestly am going to call Beth. Which can is it not be, entirely Does it have to be an in-person, or can it be like on Zoom quickly? Like, or um, Some of us have to be in person, but oh, okay. the bulk of us. I think just one um, of us has yeah. to be here. Yeah, yeah I think that's right. I mean, I'm not going to ask an administrator to be here if I'm not here, so I'll be here. <laughs> so we'll make it work. I'm I'm going to be totally oh, yeah. rude you while Beth has family. family. You can be remote. Okay. Well, no, I'm mean, just asking because, like, then if it's going to be a short meeting, can we do something in like the 7:30 time yeah. or 8 o'clock yeah. time? Because well, everything, everything after school just feels hard. And uh, yeah. Lindsay, did I miss the uh, the the pulse, the pre-pulse questions? Remember, we were going to do a survey. Yeah, for... we. I think I remember our conversation would be at this meeting. We talk about what we would want to include in yes. a survey. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We, but did we didn't. We we apparently missed that in the changes and additions to the agenda. Yep. Um, and I okay, to... so maybe maybe we can put that for February and. Do it that's then. Fine. That's fine. So then, for in February, we'll talk about what we want in the survey, and and we can go from there. Can I ask a logistical question? Because sometimes I don't know the answer to this. Is it okay if, like, I have questions that I have in my head? Can I like send that as an email to you, Lindsay, and like, so for next meeting, we can just have it already there. That's great. Can, Okay, I just sometimes I don't know the rules. Yeah, you just can't okay. send an email to more than two of us. Okay, but I can send Where? whatever I want to Lindsay. You can yes. send anything okay. I want to Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh -oh. <laughs> okay I have, I'm still trying to figure out. What am I going to get tomorrow morning? <laughs> this is such a great setup. <laughs> I have 
I have Beth on the phone, so everybody pull out their calendars. Okay. Um, and let's I was looking at your calendar. Wow, this is great. Oh, wait, I'm still sharing my screen. I think we should try and do it. Uh, how quickly, Lindsay, do you think that you guys can move forward? I anticipate, I think I could call Ed tomorrow and we could do it really quickly. Yeah. I don't so think I would it would like, take long. I would like to meet in the next week. Yep. Um, yes, I think it's Kate. Yes. So what, what do you have? Yes. Kate, I think yours is the worst. Cutney, 6.30, Monday, yep. Yep. Tuesday, yes. 7.30. I really like them. Step out. Um, we were thinking uh, later because it's just easier for people. Um, and then I've got okay. Uh, how soon can Lindsay? How soon can you do this? So she said can, tomorrow. Uh, I can call Ed tomorrow, and I imagine. I mean, we could get it. I, mean, I don't know if what people's thoughts are, but like we could do it for. I could be. I could be there virtually on Thursday. I have something else before. Um, Thursday evening at eight thirty. Yeah. Oh, Pray for me. That's Friday. Friday. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, oh right. Oh right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Friday's out. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, Monday. So I know you guys said seven thirty, but I have to be at a hockey rink then uh, three nights a week, four nights a week actually. So seven <laughs> thirty. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Maybe this is a, a out there, but what about the morning time, which may not be ideal for most people either. I don't know. I was just trying to think of outside the box of other times. I think that's really tough for Heather and Beth. That yeah. Mornings you were really yeah, tough. You have to be right? out, the, out of the house pretty yeah. early. Like, I mean, if we want to do it like super early, like 6 a.m. Like yeah, anyway. they're saying 6 a.m. I, I don't know that we're going to. 6.30? I think it was 6.30. I'm going to say the community. We could do 7. All over them. Yes. If we have a budget meeting at 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't have good optics. What about um, Monday? Yeah. Monday is tough. What about I Tuesday? Mean, I could do. I could do. Well, Christine. I've got Weathersfield. Yeah, yeah, Christine has Weathersfield at six thirty. Could yeah. people do six? Wednesday. Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday is really tough for me. Tuesday and Wednesday are both. At, what about no. Thursday? The Thursday. 12th? Okay, we're on Thursday the twelfth now, Beth. No Thursday Fridays. But I have to be in the car for hockey at seven. So if we could do Sorry. 630 on the 12th, I've got a, I can a do it. meeting if needed with Noah Scotty. But oh. <laughs> how is that 630? How often are those needed? Six on the 12th? I'll know on Monday, Colleen. It's needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, six, six on the 12th. On the 12th. Okay. Okay. Six on the 12th. Okay. Can someone send that out? Six on the 12th yeah. works for Beth. Oh, yeah, we'll get it out. Here, I'm, can I just text six to the 12th? Um, yeah, on the that's uh, six yeah. Okay. on the 12th. I'll have okay. Lori send it out to you all. Colleen, that works for you? Yeah, I'm surprisingly open next week. So. Okay, Beth, I think we found it. You Thank you. Okay. Yep, will do. Okay, bye. I just rejected it. So. Okay. Uh, yes, it'll be a special meeting. Special budget meeting? Yeah. Um, and you have to go right at 6 o'clock. I won't be here. I can't be here. And then if I was happy, I'll be here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Lindsay, can you be here on Thursday at six, the twelfth? Yes, I can be there. Okay, so Lindsay can be here. I'll be here. Trevor will be here. And then you just go <laughs> and we'll go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. You want to see Uh, probably not. No, you guys don't need to be here for that. It's going to be a quick meeting. Yeah. So it's up to you. Uh, whether we should be here? Yeah. yeah. I think we will probably have to be here. You'll have to be here? Oh, okay. but it's not about to email my boss. Okay. So yeah, because I, honestly, I'm hoping it's like a 15 minute meeting. I don't know. It's just a quick yeah. approval of the budget. Yeah. And so we could do it 
but maybe there's a way that we can like have you guys join and record the meeting yeah. remotely or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of, I, I just don't want you to spend a half hour setting up for a 15 minute meeting. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So with that, uh, we need to set the agenda for the following meeting. Um, and we have a composting update. Yep. Uh, oh, actually, we need to set the date for the following meeting. Um, there's a conflict. There's a conflict. Mike Nicholson's here doing the community envisioning. Mm -hmm. We're planning um, it from 5 30 to 7 30. All right, so let's see. That is oh, God, February. Which oh. means you could still meet. It'd be Christine, we can't hear any of you there. You might be muted again. What is wrong with that thing? <laughs> Ghost in the machine. <laughs> so while they're fixing that, I'll, get, I'll tell you, I'll share one of my Christmas gifts. Ooh, math and joke. No math way, joke, math joke. Since we were doing numbers, uh, it says one day the math instructor got tired of adding things up. What happened to him? He ended up in the hospital with an incremental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My oldest daughter got me that. She's awesome. <laughs> she is awesome. I love that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I, I guess I, I have more of my tweets. We tell jokes until we can hear you again. <laughs> Get things moving. <laughs> Nikki's putting her thumbs up, like, yes, Michael, more jokes. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, let me see if I can put it on. There's a funny one in here, right? Oh, I think they're all funny. My wife laughs at them. She looks at me like I'm crazy on some of these. Uh, oh, what's the best place to do math homework? I give up. On a multiplication table. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> These are fabulous. My students are going to be like, great, this is all he needed was more jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I only wear my glasses during math class. They improve my dye vision. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, Fabulous. All right. For those that are here, Nikki texted me and she's saying for the February meeting, seven o'clock on the seventh. It is that already scheduled time. It's just pushing it back one hour from six to seven. Okay. Does that work for everybody virtually? Yes. Perfect. Nikki, we're good. I thought you still have to say for your thing, Lindsay. Yes. Enjoy. We still do have an executive session. Is there anything else, Nikki, other than the executive session that is on the agenda? Oh, wait. We might be able to hear you. It's like a radio wave. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, I tell when it's kind of coming back. Do you have a date for the um, it's good for everyone to get, but we're kind of standing behind the budget. It's like no. behind, I think, though. Yeah, we are behind the budget, baby. Yeah, we're behind it. We are um, behind that budget. Yeah. Budget. We do. Yeah. Um, um, uh, we'll wait on the seventh. No. Uh, we do the that. The sound and the lips are not meeting. Nope. Uh, like, I can hear them. Like, yes, I'm going to do it. Because you don't want people going over. So for those virtually, <laughs> Nikki texted. I don't know if you all can hear what we can hear, Nikki, but it is sounding very strange from our end. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, it's it's very strange over here. It is like the I think what you probably said about two minutes ago. That's all coming through now. It's very strange. <laughs> so what what Nikki has texted me for an agenda for the next time was that pre pulse. Some of the questions I think Heather will email me ahead of time so we can share those. A compost oh, update from students, yeah. <laughs> but and budget prep. This is what I should be eating my dinner. Got some slurping my pasta. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, so I'll take a motion to uh, to move to executive session. I would make that motion that we move to executive session. I will okay. second that motion. Um, and then, uh, Colleen, I feel like Alina is and, uh, smiling Zach, at something that I don't know. Zach, Zach, I, don't know. I, I need say I. So oh, no. now I'm texting Colleen. Oh, I know. What are they doing? We can hear you now. Yes. Oh, you can hear us now. Yeah. Yes. Oh. We cannot see you, but we can hear you. Oh. It was delayed for a minute. I like it was. Say anything bad about you? <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm stopping the recording. No, yes. That's, 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 that's a good okay. idea. Wait. Session. Session. Bye. Bye. Wait. Don't you can't see us. But